What is going on guys? Stefan here with you, s &E's Garage. Today we are going to be installing an RR Racing axle back exhaust for a 2016 Lexus GSF. <laughs> So what you're going to see here, it's going to come with your two uh, rear pipe sections and then the valve section of the exhaust, so the muffler and then the cutout is going to slip right onto it. We have all of our hardware here and our wiring for all of this. And then up here we have our tips. We ended up going with stainless steel and we have our clamps for the tips. So. Let's go ahead, let's get the lift set up under this thing. Let's get it up in the air and let's remove the exhaust that's on it. I did end up putting the stock exhaust or the stock axle back at least back on it uh, because I actually had a buyer that wanted to buy my Revel medallion. So that is gone and the stock mufflers are under there and I cannot wait to get them off because I hate driving the car stock. It's, it's actually bothering me. So let's get it up in the air. Let's pull the old mufflers off. So removing a factory axle back is actually very easy. It's just one, two, three, four bolts. And then you have one, two, three. So you're gonna have four bolts and three hangers per muffler. So four bolts in total, six hangers. Now, in order to remove the exhaust hangers, I am going to recommend a exhaust hanger pliers or a set of exhaust hanger pliers. We have Lang, 436A, and these things work absolutely beautifully. I'm gonna show you exactly how they work. They make this job so easy. Um, so what we're going to start with here is we're just gonna come in and we're gonna remove these bolts, and then we're gonna lube up our hangers with some white lithium grease. There's actually still some on there from when I slipped this exhaust on, so I might not even need to lube them up, but we're gonna go ahead and remove the bolts, remove the hangers, drop the mufflers. Okay, so we're just going to be using a 14 millimeter uh, socket and electric ratchet here. We're just going to go ahead and crack these loose. Now we're going to take our hanger pliers here. And you're going to see this hanger. You're going to set the pliers up like this. Give it a push. And it's going to do all of the work for you. No more fighting with stubborn exhaust hangers just like that so now what i do here is i'll just kind of try to let this rest by the pipe and let's come up front and remove the two hangers here for the muffler and step on some bubble wrap and nearly stir see the muffler will come right down okay now we're going to repeat this process on the other side okay guys so like i said we are going to be reusing these donut gaskets if you're just using this as the axle back like we are because as you'll see we already do have an apex uh, mid pipe with an h pipe I personally like the sound of an H-pipe a little bit better. They're a little bit more throaty and a little bit less raspy, so that's why that is what we went with. But with that being said, we can now grab these tailpipe sections and just begin putting them into place. I am just going to slide this hanger here to hold it in place. And I'm gonna go get some of the hardware and we're just going to lightly start this. Okay, and again, we're going to repeat this same process on the passenger side. All right, we got the pipes in very loosely, I will add, and now we're gonna go ahead and slide the mufflers into the hangers and slide the pipes into place. Thank you. 
now that we got that muffler in, we're just gonna go ahead and begin to snug these bolts down and line everything up. Okay guys, so here is where I am at. I have these set up just about the way I think they need to be. I am missing a clamp here and a clamp here. So in order for me to make the final adjustments, I am gonna need that clamp because the exhaust is a little close to the muffler on this side. But you'll see if I pull this down, that'll rotate a little bit and I can clamp it there and it should stay. And then this one I got literally the way I think it needs to be perfect. So this side is good. This side needs some tweaking, but once I get my clamps, uh, I think I can make that final adjustment. So now what we have to do is get up into the trunk. I'm gonna pull some things apart and uh, figure out the best way to send power here to our cutout module. You'll see it's these thin little wires. So I wanna try to find a switched power um, in the trunk, you know, that will kill power when the car is off and provide power when the car is on. That way that thing's not, you know, always having power and, and risk draining the battery. Okay guys, so here's where we're at. This green wire here is going to be your constant 12 volt. Unfortunately, at the amplifier harness, I could not find a switch and that's okay. I really don't see this thing creating, uh, you know, any major parasitic draws that I need to worry about. So what we did here is called a military splice. We simply uh, basically trimmed the insulation back by, you know, about a quarter inch and then we spliced this wire into it. So you'll see if we try to pull this, it's not going to move. So we're just going to go ahead, electrical tape this up, and then we can go ahead and connect our ground. You'll see I just put a little um, eye bolt on it. So I'm just going to try to ground it here to one of these, uh, you know, harnesses on the amplifier, maybe, you know, this bolt, and um, we'll be back with you. All right, here's where we are at. We got that nice and tucked away. And then we ran our wire down through here. We grounded on the back side of the amplifier and we just zip tied our little control module for this thing up under this shield here. I believe that's the shield for uh, the emergency brake uh, harness where it goes down into the floor. But now what we have to do is we're gonna take this rubber plug out here and we're just gonna put a slit in the bottom of it. That way we can get our two wires that are gonna come from these mufflers up into the car. And then I'm gonna do as many of my connections as I can in here to prevent any uh, water intrusion issues. So let me do that. I'll show you exactly where we're at when we're done. All right guys, and we are all done inside of the car as far as wiring. We went ahead and made our connections and then you know, sealed them off with the heat shrink. And I brought all of my excess wire back into the the truck or the trunk rather and I just kind of have it stuffed under here in this little pocket and what that's going to do is prevent it from getting damaged and then over here you'll see we just filled that rubber plug with some RTV that way the holes that we cut in there to run the wires are not going to allow water to get up into the trunk so let's go ahead let's lift the car back up and I'm going to show you um, exactly what we've done underneath and then we can go ahead and fire it up Alrighty guys, so up under here You'll see what we did here with this wiring We just kind of ran it and tucked it up underneath this shield here You'll see this side does the same thing goes up and under that shield and into the trunk We have our exhaust clamps here installed now one thing that I did have to do here is I had to put a hose clamp um, over this exhaust hanger just because this pipe was coming down a little bit further and it was giving me some clearance issues with the exhaust tip and the bumper. This is all aftermarket stuff. I have a, you know, an Apex um, mid pipe. I have, you know, a different brand cat back or axle back. Uh, so this is to be expected. It's aftermarket. Things never fit perfectly. You're always going to have to tweak them a little bit. So we've got this lined up as best as it's going to get. And if you look, I think it's, it's damn near perfect. So with that being said, let's go ahead, lower the car down and let's fire it up. Right now, it would appear that we are in the closed mode. Let me just show you real quick. I'm gonna go ahead again, we'll hit the fob. Let's see what mode we're in here. Okay, so that's open, and this is closed. 
There we go. So let's let's put you on the GoPro, lower the car down. We'll fire it up uh, closed, and then we'll switch it to open and check out the difference. So that's closed. That's open. Closed. Open. Let's go take it for a ride. Alright guys, so I just wanted to wait to warm this thing up and I wanted to play with it a little bit before we started recording. Right now we have all of the windows down and we are in open mode. Let's get down into second gear. I had to give it a little limiter bounce there because when it bounces off the limiter it sounds fantastic. So let's put the windows up now. Again, right now we are in open mode. And it's really not, it's not unbearable at all. So I'll go ahead, I'll, I'll close it. And now it's like I'm driving a stock car. Even if I hit the gas, it's very, very livable. And then at the press of a button, we open it up and completely change the way the car sounds. Let's go home, uh, let's set you up on the tripod, let's give it a couple revs, I'll do a few in open and a few in close. Alright guys, so we're going to start in loud mode, I'm going to fire it up, give it a couple revs, and then I'll switch to quiet mode, and again, give it a couple revs. Okay guys, and that is going to be it for this video. Uh, overall, the install was easy. The install itself is easy. The wiring is easy. Honestly, the hardest and most time consuming part of this whole project was getting these muffler tips to line up properly. And it's still not perfect. This one after driving it shifted back over to the left a little bit. So I have to go under there and loosen some stuff and try to uh, make it look a little bit better. This side I would say is probably perfect with my exhaust hanger trick. So if I could get that one to match this one, um, I'll be good. I probably trimmed close to maybe an hour's worth of this video out of just me messing with it, trying to get it perfect. Cause I didn't think you needed to watch me tighten and loosen, you know, a bunch of bolts and then retighten them. It's just, it's very, um, monotonous so with that being said um overall great sounding exhaust um i like that i can make it quiet when i'm cruising and then i can make it loud when i want it loud but i have a feeling i'm probably gonna have it in the open or the loud mode uh 90 of the time because it's obnoxious and i love it but if this video helped you or if this video interested you if you like this platform and you want to see more on it Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Every little bit helps. We greatly appreciate it, and we'll see you guys next time.